Hey there, Tyler with Theater Design Company. It's another Saturday, long week of work, and we are off to working on the demo room this weekend. So what we're going to do is do a nine-part series on the demo room. This will be basically episode one, which is just going to be an overview of what we're putting in this room and give you an idea of what is going to happen on upcoming episodes. So basically, this is our introduction and equipment episode. We'll go over what we're putting in this room, uh, fabric, stone, the theater seats, and of course equipment and equipment racks. Uh, episode two, we're hoping to work on the hush box and the wiring. Um, and we may actually do that this weekend as well and drop a video on Sunday night. Uh, episode three, we're going to go over our Guilford and Main fabric choices and fabric track along with a couple time-lapse videos of installing fabric. Episode four, going to go over the equipment racks. So this room has three equipment racks. The room itself is utilizing about one and a half racks. The other one and a half rack is for network gear and home audio systems, uh, lighting control, uh, cameras and such. And then episode five, we'll go over lighting control. This room sits at seven zones of lighting right now, and it may end up with a total of eight or nine. It depends if we can backlight the screen. Uh, we have a sample coming from uh, Seymour Screens on our Neo Acoustical Material to see how backlighting will work. Episode 6, we're going to go over the star ceiling. Uh, again, we'll do a time lapse and uh, go over the parts it takes to do a star ceiling. Episode 7, we're going to go over the speaker system. So we already have videos you can watch on the Klipsch BTS and a lot of the speakers in this room. Um, but this will be an overview of all of the speakers uh, installed with images. Um, try to do a sound clip, not sure how that will work. And then episode 8, since we'll be getting close to wrapping up the room, we'll go with our Seymour screen, uh, screen surround, and fabric. And then the last video will be episode 9. And that will be calibration of the room. We're hoping to get audio control to actually come out to our demo room and uh, give us an in kind of an in-home, um, in-store calibration setup with our audio control XR7. We'll go over the RTI remote control and some of its functions. And then not shown is we'll do a, a final episode 10 that will go over this complete demo room as well as our sim racing room. It will go over our office, which has Lutron lighting and speakers. It will go over the equipment room, and most likely we will carry that over into the bar and meeting room and our car area and car collection. Um, so that will do it for now. I will talk about a few other things on this video as we go through some of the equipment and intro on what we're doing on this room. Thanks a lot, and stay tuned for more stuff. Okay, so now that you've subscribed, let's go over a few details of this room, and then we'll get to the equipment specs on it last, and then we'll uh, end the video there. So as you can see with the rendering, there's a few unique details on this room. It's a, a rather short room um, at 18 and a half feet, and the width is 10 feet. Ceiling height is 8 feet, standard ceiling height. And a couple unique features. This room has architectural stone columns from El Dorado Stone. Those are uh, those columns are all wrapped currently, but the overgrouting process is not done. And then the second feature you'll probably see in here, besides the star ceiling, is the uh, LED lighting. So around the room, it's going to have walnut trim with flushed-in LED lighting. And then last, you'll probably note the travertine floors, which we get a little bit of flack on. Uh, you got to keep keep in mind that this is also a working space, so this goes between uh, one area of a garage through a bar and then into our demo uh, area for meetings and sim racing room into a workshop so having carpets just not a possibility we will have some runners from joy carpet that will help with sound and you got to keep in mind most theaters in the residential world they never properly treat them anyway so you've got a big hard ceiling on it and carpet we're essentially doing the opposite where our hard surface area is on the ground we'll have carpet runners and then we have uh, just a little bit of a drywall soffit and then a giant star ceiling in the center that's acoustical material and fabric. So I think we've solved uh, our solutions there pretty well. The next thing on this one that we're going to change is you can see the layout on the room. It's uh, technically three rows. You've got a row of fortress seating on the front, 
which is really just for aesthetics. It's absolutely too, too close to the screen for day-to-day -day viewing. The second row is the sweet spot and what we've set up all the audio and acoustics for. And then the last row is a basically a 42-inch bar pub type table with two bar stools. Um, other things to note on here, you'll see the walnut wood door. You'll see the flushed-in hush box um, that we'll do a video on next. Again, the star ceiling. And then you'll see the jungle book picture. That's just a rendering that is still being worked on and we think what it'll end up being is a uh, 50 inch commercial display showing movie posters i'm going to go to the next rendering which is just another view um, you can see the fabric walls more of the led strip lighting you'll see that we have led strip lighting flushed into the travertine as well and then note the uh, soffits have uh, lighting on there those are just standard four inch halo cans controlled by a lutron switch which will wall wash the fabric and then last, you can see uh, another view of the room, uh, similar to the first rendering, and that shows the Eclipse uh, BTS system, and hopefully we're gonna be able to backlight it in that similar approach uh, behind the 4K Neo material. So we have a sample on our way from Seymour, and we hope that that will uh, allow us to do the lighting. We'll be testing that next week. Uh, next part of this video, I'm gonna go over just the equipment specs of it and the overall cost of a room like this. And then if you wish to check out the other episodes that we'll try to continue doing over the next week, weeks and months, um, depending on how long it takes to get the room wrapped up, um, we appreciate it. Okay, so in the last part of the video, kind of wrap it up and give you an overview of what the cost of this demo room cost. Um, obviously, if we're putting this in your home or some of these systems, these prices would change dramatically. Uh, this demo room, as well as our offices and other areas, are in the bottom of a uh, quite old home, um, actually built in 1888. So there's some additional costs here, such as floor leveling, uh, additional framing you would probably not um, have. And then depending on the speaker package, you may not build a screen wall for the Klipsch and you, you don't do stone columns, there's a huge chunk of change written off right off the bat. Um, acoustical treatments um, on this room vary because we have stretch track, so we have five panels and six panels. Um, so it's on each section of the stretch track, as you can see in the rendering. So that adds a ton of cost to the, the labor, um, but the typical ceiling sound treatment with the star ceiling, uh, you know, front screen wall fabric and the soundboard and some light kinetic noise, uh, both TAD and stealth panels. Those are probably pretty spot on for uh, any type of, uh, you know, higher end theater room. Um, next thing to go over. Oh, the other thing to mention on this is the electrical rough in on this. Um, that number there, about $3,500 includes adding a sub panel, um, getting dedicated circuits over into that room, uh, can lights and so on. And then the second part of that is, uh, is kind of the higher end stuff, the theater lighting control. Um, we have all Epic Sky uh, LEDs, they're RGBW. We have uh, separate power supplies and enclosures with fans. Um, RTI control system, I'm not actually factoring in the control system part, that's just for the panel app. So add for a, either an XP6 or an XP8, you're gonna add a thousand or $2,000 for a control and the reason we need so much control is all of our lighting including the Lutron is all serial controlled so we can get two-way feedback on the uh, Apple iPad uh, we have a launch port case and charger for the iPad so it keeps it nice and safe and charged and then equipment rundown I mean you've got equipment racks uh, mid-atlantic so all of our items are in custom face plates and shelves uh, another big ticket item there is the Furman IT reference at the bottom of our main equipment rack um, that's a big ticket item at $4,400. You got a Sony X1100 Blu-ray, um, TiVo Edge, Apple TV. Um, for music, we have the uh, NAD Blue Sound DAC. And then you got your huge stack of audio control, which comes in close to 20 grand. And then this is obviously not needed for uh, nearly anybody's home theater, but we've got Kimber Cable power cords and Kimber Cable XLR cables, which come up at about $5,600 just for that rack. And then this is another item that's pretty close for most homes, speaker wire and low voltage wiring. You know, you're probably $500 to $900 on that. And then last on the room, we've got our clip speaker package. Uh, the, our LCR with our subs comes in at 25 grand. 
and then our sides rears and atmos speakers uh, come in at close to six grand again we're using a kimber cable pm33 and uh, spade connections for all our adapters what you can't see in this picture or if you haven't followed any of our builds we have an imax subwoofer clone that we kind of built um, that goes underneath the uh, clips bts package that's kind of a more of a fun thing but it's uh it's basically a humongous enclosure with four 12 inch uh imminent speakers and it's the exact uh, speakers and specs of one of the imax subwoofers you would hear at a uh, commercial theater uh, calibration cost five hundred dollars um, this does have the Dirac so we probably wouldn't have to charge another customer that we work through it and uh, that would probably be part of our audio control cell or if we're uh, selling another processor projection system we have our cooling um, 8k cables that just came out from binary which is one of our suppliers the acoustical screen material which we're trying to backlight is uh, comes in about eighteen hundred dollars on a Seymour screen we're using the uh, XF Theater Extreme Wolf Cinema Projector in this room that comes in at about twenty three thousand dollars. However, you can go projection systems can go anywhere from a uh, you know an Epson forty fifty projector at twenty five hundred dollars is a very nice projector. We also do a lot of the Sony two ninety fives, but then again you can do a seventy thousand dollar Barco. It's it's really up to you and how much of a budget you have, how big of an enthusiast you are, and then final touches. Uh, our room only has four seats, so we've kind of lucked out on theater seating cost at six thousand. Um, budget figure on a bar table and chairs for the back row, um, which we haven't purchased yet, come in at about nine hundred dollars. Our walnut base trim from a local company was eighteen hundred dollars, and then our current pricing on our Joy carpet runners for the left and right of the room, um, underneath the bar table, and then in front of the front theater seats is at twelve hundred. But I have a feeling that's going to go up. And then where we had our Jungle Book movie poster, that's going to get a uh, just a basic Samsung commercial display at $600. And then what's not showing on here is somewhere in the range to install all of this gear, um, terminate all the LED connections, uh, programming, uh, just you name it, install, building, paint. You know, some of those things were factored into the construction. We probably have about forty dollars or $50,000 in a room uh, like this to build it and uh again we do theaters in the range between we can get you a a pretty decent theater starting at six or seven thousand dollars we're doing a couple here in the month of february at that price and you can go up from there we've got rooms that cost four hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars it's really based on the equipment and uh, your style of the room what the room's going to end up being so hopefully you like all these episodes that are coming up subscribe so you can see them all i'm going to go over each and every little step of the room um, the room is probably at 80 percent built right now so um, i did do a bunch of time lapse but they just didn't turn out very good so anyway hope you enjoy the videos and subscribe and talk to you soon thanks